From Soldiers Radio and Television, this is the Army Today, a daily feature from around the globe. More than 60,000 people converged at Charlotte Motor Speedway to honor America's Vietnam veterans. Hello, Charlotte Motor Speedway! The event had a threefold purpose, according to USO North Carolina President, retired Lieutenant Colonel John Falkenberry. First, to celebrate, and you're going to rock and roll this afternoon. Second, it's to assist all veterans. We have the national and regional VA set up here. We have over 100 military and veteran nonprofits set up to help you. And last one is educate these youngsters. There are placards and Vietnam vets. Talk to them. Learn from history. The U.S. Army Golden Knights parachute team helped kickstart the festivities, featuring military displays from active duty and National Guard units, all helping to unite decorated veterans and family members of all ages. Former artilleryman Tommy Mason spent a moment reflecting beside a much newer howitzer than the one he'd fired during his time in Vietnam. I see it's a, a big change since, uh, during my time since I was in there. The moving wall, a traveling half-size replica of the Vietnam War Memorial, lined a portion of the speedway and allowed some one more opportunity to say goodbye. Veterans like Marvin Moore of the 1st Infantry Division found himself, at times, overwhelmed by the show of support from the community. It's, it's sort of emotional. Uh, you know, you got the friends on the wall that didn't make it back, and uh, it's really emotional. And uh, I didn't like that. I just appreciate everything everybody's done. From Charlotte, North Carolina, I'm Army Sergeant Benjamin Watson. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television.